What's the crack lads? Welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide for eFootball 2025 or simply as it's known now eFootball. So we're going to get straight into it and set you guys up. If you are new or if you haven't played the game in a while, this video will cover everything to get you started. So you'll notice when you first log in every single day, you will have a login bonus, right? You simply need to get that, but also you will get these campaign. These are just, you can't not get those, right? Obviously, they're going to just come to you. You'll get all of these stuff that's going to be coming here and they'll give you a couple of little tips and tricks. But also on top of that, if you want to claim these, right, you do need to go into your inbox. It's hidden with white webcam at the moment, but it's basically start or the options button. It will bring you to your inbox and then you claim everything that you get from your login there. You have to claim them from the inbox. I know it sounds simple, but obviously if you're new, you might have done that before. So yeah, that's how you do it. Now on top of that, every single day that you get a login bonus, every 24 hours, you will also be able to do a daily game. Now this is a penalty kick, as you see here in this little animation here. This will only happen the first time that you play it. But let's just say you haven't been playing this game for a while, right? Or let's just say you're just after downloading it, you're intrigued by a free-to-play football game. This is essentially a free shot or a penalty kick a free shot at getting free players coins everything and all you have to do is score it now even if you miss you will still get movements on the board you will still you know clear spaces on the board think of it like a game of monopoly man and every time you pass one of these icons or one of these little graphics with the ultimate goal being that you kick the penalty with the with the pulsating pink ball there at the back of the map or the back of this you will eventually get this reward so the first reward for clearing the board is going to be a franc ribery this ribery is going to be 31 levels overall he's a double booster as well and he looks pretty decent you can also give him a booster slot we're not going to bog you down with that but we'll give you a quick overview of it but i will have a follow-up video to this as well you'll also get a lot of free stuff so essentially all you have to do is log in every 24 hours or every single day that it resets and then you can work your way through the laps. And obviously it takes, I think if you score a penalty, you get six spaces. If you miss a penalty, uh, you move four spaces. So eventually you are going to be clearing the board every week without even trying really if you miss or you don't even, uh, you know, just once you take it is the main thing. All right, now obviously when you start off, you're going to have no players. If you just have a brand new account, if you've played the game a couple of months ago, any player that you have, you'll still be able to use. So for example, you might have a couple of players on the bench. You might have like free, you know, whoever, whatever card that you have, right? But essentially you are going to have, if you're starting brand new as a beginner, you're going to have really low rated players, right? So instead of kind of worrying too much about it, or instead of, before you even learn if this game is for you or learn the mechanics and spin for coins, right? You can do that. You can obviously spin for coins and you can spend real money to buy real packs and real players. Now you will get a free Messi on introduction as well. Everybody gets this. So you will get this free Messi pack. So that can be a launch pad for your squad, right? And you can pretty much get a decent squad out of that. But before you even start spinning here, right? I would definitely recommend that you earn a lot of GP and buy some standard players to learn the core mechanics of the game, right? Now, as I said, you can get this Messi pack. You get 10 players, including Leo Messi as the icon here. And this is what it looks like if you've never opened the pack on eFootball. This is 100% free and free to all. So everyone that downloads this game will get this Messi and the 10 players. And essentially, you can kind of build your squad around this Messi and you can build this squad around whoever you get. You've got a good goalkeeper. You've got a good center back. You've got Son on the left. You've got Robertson on the left back uh, position. You've got a good... Caicedo DMF there and you've Messi as a right winger right but I would definitely say that you want to come to grips before you start spinning for Ronaldinho and listen that's up to you if you guys want to pump in money straight away you can and you can get a B squad but what happens is that when you go online you will come up against guys that have got beastly squads that have been playing this game for a while and it can it can get ugly real quick right so we're going to go over here to events and we're going to go in and actually show you guys how to earn GP very quickly. So the first thing I would say to get acquainted with is the events here, not the eFootball League, right? When you start eFootball League, you have to play against the comp for the first couple of divisions and then you're going to be playing against users and working your way up towards a division. So think of it as kind of like you get, you know, I think it's 10 matches per one. We'll show you in a second. But this is where we're going to focus on as a beginner, right? If you guys are just starting off. And these are split into two event types. There's a player versus player and there's versus the AI. So versus the AI, you can get some nice rewards for this. You get GP, you get booster tokens, you get free spins. The best one that we would usually go for is probably the teamed event, which always gives you every seven days. It will always give you a free spin 
at a chance deal. Now, these chance deals will give you a free spin of a player, usually player of the week or usually a team selection. And it's super simple to do it. It's super simple to, to actually play this, right? So all you have to do is set your match difficulty here by pressing square or X, depending on if you're playing on PC, Steam, or of course, PlayStation. And of course, mobile works as well if you're working on mobile. But essentially, you can just set whatever difficulty that you want. By the time you are ready to go online, I would say you need to be comfortable playing against superstar and top player, and then eventually working your way up to legend, because it, it can be tricky, man. And you can also set this into sim mode as well, if that's what you want to do. And you just want to sit back and watch the game. You want to see what the AI are like, what way they're playing, what passes are working. But you can set that and you can literally work your way through, through these events. It might take a while if you don't have players. You can buy teamed players. So in this here, if we're going to be looking at this, if we're playing Spanish league players, because this is a Spanish league event, such as Diego Maradona, with his affiliation towards Barcelona, we will be able to get more bonus points. So if you bring in a Spanish player here, as uh, from the bench or from your squad, you will be able to play and get more bonus points here a, a lot quicker. So we can bring in Rudiger here and we're going to just get a slight increase to our player bonus and then more points per victory. So that's kind of the events, right? Also on top of that as well, I would say that the starter event here will be available for you if you haven't played the game in a while. And that's going to follow up with the next point that I'm going to make here, right? So we'll stay away from eFootball League for the time being. But my league, right, if you're looking to make a lot of GP very quickly, you can pick any team that you want, and you can literally just get into here and play a league or a career mode. It's a one season type uh, one or a, a type mode, but you can get in here and you can actually earn a lot of GP and you can earn a lot of stuff in here, right? So the best thing about this is that you can set it as well as with the events. You can set any difficulty and get to grips with the game while training up your squad and getting loads of XP, and also enjoying kind of the only offline mode that the game has to offer, because there is no Master League or Career mode at the moment, right? This follows up with our next point, which they've added, and this is brand new, even for players like me who've been playing this game since eFootball 2022, um when they went over from Pez, there is a brand new skill up uh, event, like feature in it as well. So this is super simple. I will feature this in another video as well because I know a lot of people will ask me about it, but this is super easy. It's basically like a really in-depth um, training mode, but it's super simplified. And what I mean by it's in-depth, it covers a lot of stuff like tacking, defending, true pass, loft to pass type possession, but it's super, super easy. It literally takes 60 seconds to clear each one of these. And if you've ever played a football game or a soccer game, this will be literally bread and butter to you, right? All you have to do in this one is to dribble in here and it's essentially that they don't attack you. The AI don't attack you. And all you have to do is dribble it in and pop it home and then that will clear that. There's two per category. So you will see that's the first one there. And then the true, then all I have to do is pass and score with this one. So there's two in there and then there's that one is going to be the second one. And then that gives us, you know, 30,000 XP. And you can do the next one and get a free Trent, right? So you can get actually Trent here as a free reward. The next one, you're going to get 50 eFootball coins. You get nominating contracts, more trainers, more bits and pieces like this. So you might be asking, what are trainers, right? And what are nominating contracts? Well, I'm going to show you here. So if you pick any player here, okay, and you press player actions, you will bring up a screen that says level training and player progression, skill training. Essentially, what this is, is that every time you uh, play a player on a match or in a game, he will get XP, but you can also earn items to speed up the process. So we've just got a couple of 10,000 ones there. And when we use these, we're going to be able to train up Maradona. Now, when we perform the training on him here, you will see his level system change. And that, that will mean that we can choose which development system that we want. When you're starting off, I would say stick to manual development, because once you learn it once, you will never need to understand training again. Now you will see that we have progression points, okay? And now we can actually go into player progression and train the player up. So if you want more shooting, if you want more passing, if you want more dribbling, follow the channel if you are new to eFootball because I pretty much put up every single build every single day of any card that you want. I do custom ones, custom builds per position. It's really important to match training players with how you play the game. If you like to play a bit of possession, you want passing, you want tight possession and dribbling. They've also changed what people would call the meta, the most effective tactic. It has changed since last year. 
So it's a good point to jump in if you are new because there's a lot changed even for old veterans such as myself. So that is how you train it up. And that follows true as well for giving skills. Skills are done on a random basis. You can also do it by choosing a skill, but I'll cover that in a future video because it's a little bit more complicated. But all you have to do here is take a random hit that you can unlock and you will be able to learn skills. If you don't have, if he already has a skill, he won't learn it, but that's how you add skills. And we'll cover the rest in that in other ways, right? Also, just to touch on it while we're here, you guys will see here that I know we're gonna get a lot of questions about what team kits that we have. So if you go into your strips here, the kits that you're gonna be wearing in your matches are gonna be based on your base team. And how to change your base team is very, very simple. You go into game plan, you go to team, you go to base team settings here, and then you pick your base team. Now, whatever team you pick, that is what your team is gonna like wear, whatever kits, right? So for example, if you pick Manchester United, you can then edit your team name to call it, you know, whatever you want to call it, Lads FC. Uh, and that will change the name. You can change the shorthand if you want to change it as well. But now when you go back out to your kits, you will see that you will have the Manchester United strip there. And obviously, um, yeah, you can pick whichever team that you want or whichever kit that you want to represent online. And that's what your opponents will see. Now, we've covered a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to make this video too much longer. There's a lot to process, right? We haven't even got into like, you know much of the buying stuff and the coins and all that because that's i would definitely recommend you guys give this game a good try take it online give it 15 hours and see how you go match pass is a really good way as well of introducing you to the, re the rewards of just playing the game so every time you play the game you will complete a level in the match pass it doesn't matter what game you're playing or what match or what mode every single thing that you do here will give you a slot right so eventually if you play seven matches you'll have all of these seven uh unlocked now there is premium match passes this is going to cost you 500 coins or about five quid and the same with the the value and the premium they're both going to be the same they come with players and a couple of extra bonuses but for all intents and purposes as i would definitely unlock 15 spaces first so play 15 matches you can do it quite quickly over the course of your next couple of play sessions and then you will be able to get a free player with this you'll be able to get a really really good player such as john stones there or vitinia there's lots of good free players that you can get in fairness i would say that eFootball is probably the most easy game in probably in the free to play market that gives you it just bombards you with free stuff obviously you'll want to get the likes of ronaldinho and them and they are going to cost you coins or real life money microtransactions but you can get by with just really decent players and also also on top of that as well if you want to actually just buy gp players you can go to standard player list and you can save up gp very very easily and you can pretty much buy any player like if you look at kevin de bruyne here he's only four hundred and fifty thousand gp which is a couple of hours of playing and not even a couple of hours of playing if you complete the events so last but not least lads we're going to set up how we're going to look to set up your squad and let and set up your team um which we've done in another video if you want to see the best formations in that i will have a video on that as well once you have your team set but we are going to check out a couple of the settings right so if you're wondering about anything on the game there is actually a lot of information in here if you go to help general information and then you can go through any topic here and it will tell you so if you're wondering about the booster it will define the booster to you if you're wondering about your player skills it will define what the player skills do and what they are um so there's a lot of information in there to check out and then also on top of that as well i would probably look at the game settings here and i would change the game settings ever so slightly now i'm going to give you just a quick configuration here when you go in to set up your squad um or set up your team uh, with how you want to control them on the pitch right they've made a couple of changes right if you want to choose here you can actually have two presets you have a standard or you have an alternate and this will change a couple of bits and pieces right so the alternate is going to change your shoot to o or circle if you go back to the standard that is going to make a couple of changes so your shoot is going to be square button or x on xbox or pc and it's going to be the same with defense it's going to change a couple of bits and pieces if you press triangle or y you will have a couple of new options. I have a full video up on Smart Assist. I would stay away from that for the time being while you're learning the games, but the two ones that I would look at here to make life a little bit easier for yourself is I would definitely start off with level two pass assist. There's different levels of assistance, but you don't want full assistance, lads. Listen, you need to be able to season your own chicken every now and again and go in at the deep end, man. Don't want your hand held too much because you get too used to the level one, right? Go to level two, learn the game a little bit and i'm telling you it will stand to you when you start to play a little bit of possession the next one i would talk about is this ball oriented or player oriented right you can have a read of that there 
I usually use player oriented, but I might change with the new update. I still need a bit more time myself on it. The rest of the stuff here, you can just check what you want and what you don't want. I usually turn off uh, the target guide. Um, or sorry, I usually turn off the direction guide. Um, that's probably one that I usually turn off there. If you want to turn that off, you can. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I would leave everything as is other than that. And then my, my chosen camera for most games, especially online, I usually use dynamic wide. That's the big one that I would use here. Or else I would use a combination of dynamic wide custom. Now, you can only use dynamic wide custom in the game. And I usually go for dynamic wide 2-2. Two, two. Um, so that is probably the one I would go for most. But the dynamic wide is definitely my favorite camera to use, I would say. So that's pretty much it. Last but not least, we'll have a look at the objectives here, right? So these objectives, again, they're working in, conjunct or in conjunction with everything else you're doing in the game. For simply logging into the game, you will start to amass GP and you'll also get free chance deals. When you get these chance deals or you get these coins, you get any of these, it's simply from clearing objectives and you'll get them just automatically by playing through the game. And again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, all of these are got or gained from going into your inbox and getting all of these rewards. And as I said, you will simply get bombarded with free rewards here. You will get free versions of players such as Lewandowski and Sané and you will get all your rewards there. So have fun. I hope to see you on the, on the pitch. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought of this video. And I hope it helps you out to get started. To be honest with you, eFootball is not a complicated game. You can jump in and at the deep end. But I think also as well, it's nice to have a helping hand with it. So if you do have any questions or if you are new here, please do get in touch in the comments below. I will get back to you. And also check out the stream. We stream every Monday, Thursday and Friday. And we will cover pretty much any question that you have. No question is too big or too small. And I hope to see you in the chat. Talk to you later. Enjoy. Peace.